Okay, in this step we want to talk about how we can overload the methods in c -sharp Unity. For example, we have two functions here. First, the integer add int and with two local variables, integer a and integer b, and we want to return a plus b. And we have another function which is called add a string, which is a string, and a string a, a string b will be uh, you know, uh, combined together. Okay, it is fine. So, when we want to call them, it will be look like uh, add int, uh, for example, 2 and 5, 3 and 5, and add a string for, uh, for example, apple fuzz and honey. Okay, but uh, actually, uh, when, if for two functions it makes sense, but with for a various number of functions it will be problematic because uh, always we, not, uh, we need to make another one and another one with different names. But there is a technique which is called overload. For example, we can remove int and a string from the name of the functions and here we need to just write the add just add but because we have different kind of local variables as an input uh, the, in, in, look at this it is a string it is int and the result will be integer and a string but because they are they have the same name here Despite our inputs, the compiler we understand. Okay, we are at, we have added three and five. So all right, we are talking about this guy. We have added a string. Okay, now we are talking about this guy. So no need to call them in a different way. Just one name, but with different inputs. It is a uh, easiest way to using uh, overload of the met uh, methods in C sharp. Okay, but sometimes we can use another technique. We will have int add here, but with a different number of variables. Integer c. Okay, and here we will return a plus b plus c for example in this example we said okay we want to add just two numbers okay it is fine but if we want to have three numbers we will add two seven and one when, uh, when we add two inputs, we are talking about this. When we add three inputs, we are talking about this. And maybe this uh, function can be different. For example, it can be times and it can be minus. Something like this. So, when we add two inputs, we want to call this function. And when we add three inputs, we want to call this function. So we will have a different result. Okay, this is the overload of methods in Unity. Let's go to the next step.